try this at home, folks. This is bad course management. All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. This week we're doing another Hickory versus Modern match play. I'm playing with my best bed, Tim Shaw, uh, and we're going back to our roots. This is the very first course we ever played golf at. Uh, it's a par three course in Beach Park, Illinois called Greenshire, and it's a pretty well-maintained little municipal golf course that I think you'll see here in a bit. Here's the matchup. Tim's a 12.9 handicap. I'm a 24, but he's not going to give me any strokes here because we're playing a par three course, and I think it's pretty equal, all things considered. So here's what's in the bag for this round, sponsored by Stewart and Jacoby. I'm using a very pared down set here, only four clubs. There's my 21 degree Jack White Spoon from Louisville Golf, my 36 degree Flanged Mashie, my 46 degree Croydon Spade Mashie, and my trusty Tom Stewart RTJ Putter. And I'm using a Callaway Super Soft. Tim's using his full set here. He's got Ping I-500 Irons, Callaway Big Bertha Woods, and Cleveland Wedges. And for the ball, he's using a Titleist AVX. Here's a layout for Greenshire. Uh, like I said, it's a par three, but uh, there's some tricky holes in here. Here's number one, 135 yards. You've got water on the right, trees on the left, so really do need to keep it straight here. I'm using the mashie off the tee. Nice swing there. Just came up a little short of the green on the left. I think Tim was probably using a nine iron there. Good looking shot. And a nice shot right in the middle of the green. Okay. So here's my second, putting off the green. Got that pretty close. Tim actually gave that to me for a par. I missed his lag putt, but this is his par putt. Good putt. We don't have much of a budget here at Hickory Hacker, but um, we were listening to a 90s playlist and I found some free public domain versions of some of our favorite songs from the 90s, so you'll hear those in between the holes here. Number two is a little bit longer, little 185 stinger. yards. <laughs> Tim using an iron off the tee, but caught this a little thin. It be okay, though. I'm using the 21 degree Jack White spoon here, and I do the opposite. Pop it straight up in the air, which I've been doing lately off the tee. Puts me in I thought this was a cool feature of this hole. It's kind of a little valley here. Just little subtle things like this make this course interesting, in my opinion, for being a municipal par 3 course. I think she might be all right. Using the mashie there to run that up, and it's That'll all right. <laughs> Unconventional. Here's Tim's second. He was short of the green also. Using one of his Cleveland RTX wedges. Good shot. Right in the middle of the green. Thank Safe you. shot. I got a long putt here for par. Didn't read that well at all and scooted that well past the hole. So here's Tim's putt for par. And that was good a real shot. good putt. I'll give it to you. So I gave him that, so he's in with a four. I need to hit this putt to have the hole. Uh. And didn't read that well at all. So now Tim's up, one up. Going into the third, which is another par three, <laughs> 110 yards. This one's tricky though, it's got bunkers on the left and right, and then trees not too far behind the green, which Tim's going to find out here in a second. Ooh. Real nice contact on that shot, but ended up putting it behind the bunker on the right, and it dribbled into the woods. I'm using the Croydon Spade Mashie here off the tee, just trying to play it safe. I saw what Tim did, so that's a safe shot, right side of the green. Third eye blind can't save you now. So here's Tim taking a risk. Yeah, as long as it doesn't move the ball, you're fine. There better be Bobby Jones in there if you see it move and I don't. Felt like he could get enough club behind that ball. Oh man. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was a real good out. So here's my second. Tim's put a little pressure on. Trying to keep this close so I can get in with my par, but that went way further than I wanted it to. And here's Tim's putt for par. Oh. So now the pressure's really on. Got this for par. Yeah, I'm here to win. All right, so we're all square going into number four. 
125 yards, you got a bunker left, trees right, and a little bit of an elevation change from T to green. Using the mashie here, uh, push this right. Got me inside of that tree line. Tim had nice contact there, but uh, probably just a club short. Ended up hitting that short of the green. Not bad. I mean, you want to be up there, but you're, you're in good shape. I'm using the mashie here from the right side. And I wasn't real happy with that effort. Didn't put that on the green in the right spot. And where I landed it, it uh, sloped from front to back. So off the green on the back, Tim's got this chip. All he's got to do is get it somewhat close. And he does just that. So I'm chipping off the back of the green here for my third using the mashie. Just didn't get that at all. So I've got a long putt here for my fourth and pretty much have to make this putt considering where Tim's at. Nice putt. But did what I had to do. Let's put some pressure on Tim now for his par putt. Oh. And he answers clutch. the challenge. Clutch putt. Oh. Uh, <laughs> one up, Tim. <laughs> so Tim's back to one up, going into the fifth, which is a short one, 100 yards, but this is my favorite hole of the course. Real pretty with the bunkers in the front, framed by the trees in the back. And this time of day, it's a nice shadowed cove back there. Tim hit his fat and came up short of the bunker. I'm just trying to put a nice easy swing on the ball with the Croydon Spade Mashie and was real happy with that. Ended up on the left side of the green. So here's Tim's chip. It's a tricky one over the bunker. Did what he had to do though. Probably would have wanted to get a little more out of that. Putting for my second here. Just off the green. And was real happy with that. Tim gave that to me for my par. So pressure's back on Tim now. He's got to hit this putt to have the hole. Wow. Just more uphill than he realized. So now we're back to all square going into number six, which is 165 yards. Another one where it's got an elevated tee down to a uh, lower green. The bunker right there that's in your eyeballs when you're on the tee, and that's where I was heading here with the mashie. Came up just short, luckily. Tim with a real nice shot here. Tracking. Ended up on the front of the green there. Great shot. So I got a tricky chip here using the spade mashie to get over the bunker. And I was pretty happy with that. Thanks. See where Tim's at though. He doesn't have to do too much here. Just got to get this close. And he just didn't judge his speed on that very well. Not too bad, but um, this was a trickier pin than we realized. This is for my third, and just didn't see that break there right at the end. So I'm in with the four. All Tim has to do is hit this short putt for par to win the hole, but he didn't see that break either. So we're still all square going into the seventh, 145 yards, bunkers left and back, and then you get that tree line to contend with on the right. I was trying to hit that too hard, hit it fat, and ended up coming down on the right side of the tree line there. Follow the line of the helicopter. It's right where you want to go. Tim's a bit of a prima donna here, so he had to wait for this Coast Guard helicopter to go by before he hit his shot. And he proceeds to hit a real nice shot here. That's pretty good. Up on the left side of the green. So I got some work to do here. I got to get this close. Some, one of my favorite shots in Hickory Golf here, and uh, just didn't get enough roll out at the end of that. So still short, you see where Tim's at for his second. I pretty much have to make this putt. And it came up short. So Tim gave me that putt right, for a four. And I gave him that putt for a par. So Tim takes one back to go one up again. Going into the eighth, which is the shortest hole in the course, 90 yards. It's well protected by bunkers front and back. It's a pretty hole too, the water in the back there.
Tim ends up pushing his tee shot right. We weren't quite sure where it ended up, but um, I figured it wasn't in a good spot back there. So I was trying to put an easy swing on this just to get it on the green. Thought I did, but I ended up pulling it a little bit and uh, went behind the green. That was with the state Nashy. So here's Tim second. He's from the, the bunker here, and it's pretty hard pan. Not a lot of sand to take there, so he tried to nip it, but ended up thinning it across the green. I was in a decent spot here, and I usually like this shot with my mashie, but just didn't put enough behind that. Barely got it up on the green. So here's Tim's third. He did something similar to my last shot there. Came up short with the chip. We're both looking at longer putts here. I would have liked to have put that closer as well. This is Tim's fourth. Oh, I'll give that one to you, Tim. So Tim's in with a five. It gives me an opportunity to hit this putt to win the hole and square the match. Oh, yeah. And I'm sensing victory within my grasp. So that makes it all square going into the last hole, but it's the hardest one on the course. 210 yards over water. This hole terrified Tim and I 25 years ago when we first started playing. I didn't get my tee shot on camera, uh, but it was with the Louisville Golf Jack White Spoon, and I ended up just short of the green. Tim's shot here is just to the right. Here you see my tee shot. I'm trying to just get this in the middle of the green, but this was an inopportune time to hit a poor chip, and I uh, should have started that way left of the pin and let it roll in, and I ended up going off the back on the right side. So all Tim's got to do is get this close, and he ends up hitting the shot of the day. Wow. Great chip. Very good. Tim's in for his par. I've got to hit this to have the hole and keep the match square, or Tim wins. But it just wasn't meant to be. So Tim's a winner. Wins one up in this Hickory versus Modern match play at the Greenshire Par 3 Golf Course in Beach Park, Illinois. A really fun course. Uh, definitely check out your local Par 3s. If they're anything like this one, you're going to have a blast. So we just finished playing a par three course. I don't, I'll be, I'll be honest, I didn't really expect a whole lot out of this course. This was the very first course we ever played at after we learned, well, we didn't learn anything. We bought some clubs that played against sports and we came out here and hacked our way around. Um, but I have to say, I was very impressed with how much fun this was. It was a fun course. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, like the PGA always talks about like growing the game. And I think this is the, the perfect course to start out on. Uh, it's some place where it's 12 bucks, uh, you know, for an inexperienced golfer, it, you do whatever you want. But if you have a little bit of skill, you can come out with a six pack and a couple of buddies on a Friday night and have just a, a, a ton of fun. So. Yeah. All right, so that wraps up part one of this two-part Back to Our Roots Hickory versus Modern match play between Tim and I. Tune in next week for part two, which features the first full-length golf course Tim and I ever started playing 25 years ago. And uh, in the meantime, if you haven't already used the Hickory Hacker 21 promo code for 10% off at Stewart and Jacoby, I'm not sure what you're waiting for because there's a lot of cool stuff there you can buy, including the golf bag that I use, head covers, accessory bags, all kinds of stuff. And I've actually heard from one person already, a subscriber to the channel, who used the discount code to buy a bag, and I want to thank him for that and uh, encourage everyone else to do the same. All right, that's it. See you next week. Please like and subscribe.